Okay, assalamu alaikum guys. Uh, we are going to, to discuss about questions based on rules number three and four of regulation of which you have learned. Remember, remember, I gave you a video of all rules of regulation in my YouTube channel in a precise and uh, short manner that can help you to cater for all questions that can come from transformation during a national exam. Those rules can guide you and help you without even stress yourself by doing. So I also gave you two examples based on rule number one and rule number two for your information. It's a matter of just understanding the rules. If you understand the rules, I think you can do it at your personal level. But I want to go further and give you examples based on the uh, concept of uh, uh, regulation. Remember, we are going to write questions based on rules number three and four of regulation. Okay. Let me remind you what rules number three and four were in our previous class. Rule number three was the line y is equal to x. And we see that when a given point is reflected onto the line y is equal to x, uh, what will happen is that the two coordinates will interchange position, but there's no change in sign. So it's very easy. You will only interchange position for them. To get here? Just understand that. For example, if you have a, if you have a, six, a negative six five. What are you going to do? A prime, the image point will be a prime, or let me write here, a prime will be five negative six. Look at that. Five negative six. So they will only interchange position, but there's no change in, in sign. Don't forget that. That was rule number three. And the line y is equal to x passes through the first quadrant and the third quadrant and must be drawn. Take your ruler, draw it. It is must during examination. Rule number four was uh, the line y is equal to negative x. We say that when a certain point is reflected onto the line y is equal to negative x, the two coordinates will interchange position as well as in the process the sign will also change. The sign will also change. E.g. if you have, for example, let's say this is point B. We have uh, 3, negative 8. If this point is reflected onto the line y is equal to negative x, the line y is equal to negative x, to be reviewed, P prime will be 8, negative 3. So what's happening? The interchanging position, going to number 1, understand this one, because it will help you when you'll be learning the first chapter of form 4, that is matrix and transformation. Very, very examinable in KCC, by the way. Then, here, the two coordinates are what? Are interchanging position. Look here. Because 8 was here for the y coordinate. 8 was the y coordinate at the object point. When you look at the object point, 8, negative 8 was the uh, y coordinate. So the two coordinates has, uh, the two coordinates have interchanged position. And there's also change in sign. Can you see now? 8 is coming here, changing the original sign, which was negative. Then 3 will go to the other side having a negative sign. So what will happen is that when a certain point is reflected onto the line y is equal to negative x, the two coordinates will interchange position as well as the sign will also change in the process. The line y is equal to negative x passes through the, through the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant and must be drawn during examination or when you're doing questions based on this concept of mathematics. So guys, without wasting time, after briefing you, let's go and see examples based on these two rules. Okay? Let's go and see examples based on these two rules. They are very, very deep, by the way. Reflection even cannot take you more than two minutes. Question of 10 marks cannot even take you more than two minutes. So far, you know the rules. Okay? Yeah, this is example one. Let us see rule number. Rule number three. Rule number three, that was what? Y is equal to X. Let's see this one first. We are told a rectangle ABC. This is example one. A rectangle A, B, C, D has has vertex at, look here, as vertex at, okay, 
a open the bracket we have our a as uh two three okay so a is two three comma b we have uh, our b is uh, five three five three comma we have c as what we have c as five five and g as two five Okay, you are told uh, draw full stop. Yeah, you are told draw the object and the image. The object and the image of uh, rectangle ABC or uh, rectangle ABCD and. Uh, and uh, a revelation a revelation onto the line onto the line y is equal to x onto the line y is equal to x so you are told a rectangle a b c d has vertex at a 2 3 b 5 3 c 5 5 and d 2 5 remember this is 5 Two by full stop. Draw the object and the image of rectangle A, B, C, D, and a reflection onto the line Y is equal to X. Uh, this is the solution, but we have A as what? We have A as a two, three. Okay. We have A as two, three. But remember what you're doing is reflection onto the line Y is equal to X. Let me write that. So we have the object point as A, 2, 3, this is A, we have also B as 5, 3, then we have C as what? C as uh, 5, 5, then we have D as 2, 5, D. We know that we want to reflect these object points onto the line Y is equal to X, and what we know is, when a given point is revelated onto the line y is equal to x, nothing is going to happen other than the two coordinates will interchange position. Yes, understand? So a prime in this situation to get the image point, a prime will be 3, 2. They will only interchange position. B prime will be 3, 5. C prime will be 5, 5. Then we have D prime will be 5. 2 5 comma 2 so what are you going to do then draw these two draw what draw these two on the Cartesian ring then eh, after drawing I think you know how to plot that's from what you plot only and join the two uh, the points okay after that remember when you come your Cartesian ring of this kind eh, Remember, this is what? This is y axis. And this is x axis. You must do, write that. Then this is zero. So after you plot these two, I think you know how to plot. Remember, x is positive on this side, and y is positive on the other side. Then x on this side is negative. That's formula, by the way. Yeah. Plotting of points is there in our YouTube channel, please, if you want to know further about this. So, we know that the line y is equal to x passes through the first quadrant, look here, and the third quadrant. So you're going to write y is equal to x. If you don't do this, may God bless you. The line y is equal to x passes through the first quadrant and the third quadrant. So take a ruler and draw like this. It can also be done by construction, by means of construction. But however, you can take a ruler and draw a straight line that passes through these two quadrants. First quadrant and third quadrant. And on top of that, write the equation of the line which is y is equal to x. Make sure you plot my boys. Make sure you plot this to plot for me this one. The object point, then you're going to get a rectangle. Then I mean plot the image point which results as a result of the rule above. Then that is how you're going to do questions from uh, revelation. Basically, rule number three.
Then we'll go and see rule number, rule number four. It's what you're going to see then. Rule number four. Rule number four. Rule number four is what you're going to see, guys. Okay? Rule number four. Rule number four. That was what? Y is equal to negative x. So we said when a certain point is reflected onto the line y is equal to negative x, the two coordinates will interchange position as well as the sign will also change. Don't forget that. And the line y is equal to negative x passes through the second and the fourth quadrant pair information. So let's try that. Let's take this time triangle, yeah? Let's take triangle ABC. Triangle ABC. A triangle ABC, look out, get told. A triangle ABC has vertex at A open the bracket, A open the bracket, negative one, one, negative one, one, comma. Then we have B open the bracket. We have what? B open the bracket, we have B as negative 5, 1, negative 5, 1. That's negative 5, yeah? And C open the bracket, we have negative 3, 4, negative 3, 4, negative 3, 4. Full stop. Draw the image, draw the object and the image. Draw the object and the image of triangle ABC and a reflection onto the line and a reflection onto the line y is equal to negative x so we are going to say solution we want to reflect this object point onto the line y is equal to negative x yeah y is equal to negative x so we write the object point a is what a is negative one one we have b as negative 5, 1, then we have C as negative 3, 4. Okay, what will happen when coordinates are reflected onto the line Y is equal to negative X? We say what? The two coordinates will interchange position and in the process, the sign will also change. So L prime, for us to get the image point L prime, it will be, they will interchange. This will come to this side to be negative 1, 1. Because as they interchange, the sign will also change. Remember, this was negative. It will go to the other side, it will be positive. This will come to this side, it will be negative. Okay? B prime will be negative 1, 5. Because they will interchange position as well as the sign will also change. Then C prime will be 4. We have... 4 comma negative 4 sorry negative 4 3 look at that negative 4 3 the two coordinates will interchange position as well as the sign will also change then you plot the object point and the image point after that let me remind you there's a line that you're going to draw which is must capital M U S T in capital yeah y axis X axis. This is zero. What you know is the line Y is equal to negative X passes through the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant. Remember, this is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. 
So take a ruler. Let the line pass here. So you write here on top of that y is equal to negative x. This equation can also be written here. You can also write it here. So that's how you're going through equations that will take you from this concept of mathematics for information. Okay, guys, I see, I can, uh, I can understand that now you are digesting this concept of mathematics, of course. It is very easy, by the way. And make sure you know the rules, please. What matters a lot is the rules you have learned. Okay? Make sure you go through those rules, understand them. It's, they are very easy, by the way. Understand them, then solve questions. So in the examination during KCZ, you must know rules of revelation by, by not cribing, but just understanding. You must have them in brain. Have them in your brain, yeah? Just understand. So otherwise, I wish you the best. Don't forget to subscribe, please, and share this concept of mathematics to your brothers and friends who are suffering at home level due to the sterilization of what? Uh, COVID-19. May God bless them and give them good health. Otherwise, I wish you the best, guys.